quality seven. Mm -hmm. What do you mean when you say divine truth results in freedom? Yes, so God's truth results in freedom. Or in the first century, I used to say, the truth will set you free, <laughs> which is much the same thing. Well, when you think about divine truth, it, because it is the truth of the universe, every time we bring ourselves into harmony with it, we are bringing ourselves into harmony with its operation, with all the laws that, it, it, that are determined by the truth. When we bring ourselves into harmony with something, everything's smoother, everything's easier, therefore more free. Mm -hmm. Everything flows easier, everything happens easier, everything's more free. Whenever we bring ourselves into opposition with something, and particularly in regards to divine truth, whenever we bring ourselves into opposition with divine truth, all of the laws, all of the truths are attempting to correct us. Mm -hmm. So it's like placing a prison around us in order to correct us. So we're going through a correctional institution now. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's what's happening. And, and so when we live in harmony with divine truth, we have this freedom. When we live out of harmony with divine truth, it creates restriction, confinement, slavery. Yeah. And divine truth, God's truth, always results in more freedom. But it's not a freedom that where you're free and I'm more enslaved. Yeah. It's a freedom that is equal in its operation. It's a freedom where everyone becomes freer. Everyone becomes more loving as a result of this kind of freedom. So it's not a freedom where some people are free and the rest of us are in slavery. It's a freedom where everyone can become freer once they accept the particular truths involved. And this is a very, very important aspect of divine truth, that it results in complete freedom in so many ways. It is the doorway to love. It's, it's the, and what I mean by that is that it opens our heart to love. It, it helps us understand that love is available. Mm. And it also helps us understand the way in which love is available. And therefore, it causes a huge amount of happiness by its absorption. So it results in freedom and happiness as a result of the freedom. So, so this particular quality of divine truth is so important to understand. Every time that we feel more confined, it's because we don't understand enough truth. And usually that means it's because we are afraid of something. Yeah. Fear is the false appearing real to us, the false appearing true. And usually when we act in fear, we feel more confined. We feel more enslaved. When we act in truth, we feel less confined, less enslaved. It sets us free. So if you examine the, like the world's political systems, the world's religious systems, and a lot of other systems on the planet, you can see that many of the belief systems must be out of harmony with God's truth because many of them create confinement. They create slavery. Mm. They create a lack of freedom, in fact. And this tells us that many, even of our own laws, must be out of harmony with divine truth. Yeah. And if we analyse everything that happens in the world with regard to this one aspect of creating freedom for everyone equally... Yes, this not, is just, a, not for just for one, one person. person yeah. It's for everyone equally. Then we under, start to understand the beauty of divine law and truth. Remember, divine truth is law. It is the truth of the universe, so therefore it is law. So we could say the law of gravity, or we could call it the truth of gravity. We could call the law of aerodynamics, or we could call it the truth of aerodynamics. Now, there are lots of laws or truths that humankind have yet to discover that have been discovered in the spirit world, like the law of repentance, or the truth about repentance, or the law of forgiveness, the truth about forgiveness, the law of love, the truth about love. And if once we start understanding all of these particular things with regard to divine laws and truths, then we see that this particular quality of creating freedom is quite remarkable. It, it creates so much freedom, in fact, that by the time you've become at one with God, you feel completely free to express your will in any way you desire without a restriction. Mm. 
And I find it interesting because many people who listen to Divine Truth feel that it's quite restrictive. And I'm going, yes, that's very strange. Mm -hmm. It only is restrictive because you want to hold on to the error. And it's the error that's restricting you. In fact, the error position is the thing, the belief that, or the thing that is restricting your life. And restricting our joy and restricting our receipt of love. and Restricting actually, your power, yeah. restricting your ability to create, restricting everything. In fact, if people on earth knew how much their so-called freedom which is not governed by truth, but rather by enslavery, mm. if they realised how much it was restricting them, they'd give it up instantly. But and it's only until generally people have progressed for many years in the spirit world before they realise how restricted they were when they're on earth with their belief systems mm. and how much slavery it created. So it's very, this is very important to understand this principle of this or quality of divine truth, that it always results in more freedom for everyone. Mm -hmm. So if it results in more freedom for you at the same time as more slavery for me, it's not divine truth. For it to be divine truth, it has to result in more freedom for you and more freedom for me. That, then it's divine truth. Yeah, mm. really great.